Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the uh, Marine Autonomy and Technology uh, Showcase here at the National Oceanographer Centre. And I'm delighted to welcome you to this uh, event. The National Oceanography Centre has in, been in the game of marine autonomous systems for uh, almost uh, two decades, um, uh, developing some of the most innovative uh, technologies which have set the scene for some of the developments which we uh, see today. The uh, Oceanography Centre has not only been leading the development of technologies, but has been very much uh, using this to enable uh, the whole of the UK science community to use some of the most advanced technologies in order to address some of the most significant scientific challenges uh, that we are facing today, such as exploring and understanding the living and non-living resources in the deep sea floor, <coughs> and uh, looking and examining uh, marine related hazards in the deep sea and on our continental slopes and also uh, trying to monitor long-term basin and decadal scale change and variability in the ocean where autonomous systems provide a real opportunity for global scale sampling uh, and a continuous presence in the ocean that is difficult to achieve in, in other ways. The National Oceanography Centre, uh, on account of this track record, has become the focus for the UK's government's investments in marine autonomous technologies, uh, initially for applications in science, but now more widely. Over the course of this uh, decade, uh, over £25 million will have been invested in marine autonomous technologies capital and resource uh, through the National Oceanography Centre, not only for its own programmes of development, but very much to support and enable the UK science community. The most recent investment, however, in uh, marine autonomous systems, which was announced uh, uh, last Friday, was a £19 million injection over the next four to five years in marine autonomous systems. And that has been done uh, within the scope of the new Industrial Strategy Challenge Fund, very much recognising that autonomous systems have got vast applications beyond the immediate realm of science for a whole variety of operators in business and government and other organisations who are faced with the challenges of operating in the marine environment and to be able to do uh, their work in a safe and sustainable way. And indeed, autonomous technologies are particularly uh, useful for doing the dull, the dirty and the dangerous jobs in the marine environment where we would like to take out human intervention as much as possible. And indeed, in many cases, strive to drive out uh, the costs associated with the traditionally very expensive ways of operating in the marine environment uh, through ships. This is the third uh, marine uh, autonomy and technology showcase that we've hosted here at the National Oceanography Centre and indeed uh, it is the largest event uh, that we've done to date and uh, you can see that by the fact that we've had to uh, move out of our uh, normal uh, premises. Uh, we have over 200 delegates uh, registered for this week uh, from over uh, from eight uh, countries. So uh, demonstrating the, the breadth and, and, and interest in marine autonomous systems and technologies. The uh, event consists of a number of invited keynote uh, uh, speakers from across the stakeholder uh, interest in marine autonomous systems from universities, from small and from large companies and also uh, from the public sector including uh, uh, the, the, the Royal Navy who have very strong interest in, in this area. And the conference consists of uh, a whole range of different perspectives on the technologies across different stakeholders, everything from keynote presentations as I described through to technical presentations, um, into uh, commercial exhibits, uh, and indeed student uh, posters and exhibits as well, covering 
the, the range of interest in the field. So I'm delighted uh, once again to welcome you here to the National Oceanography Centre. We're proud of what we've done to date in bringing autonomous systems into the uh, marine realm from its start in science. We're very proud of the engagement that we're able to facilitate with the UK science community and also the way in which we're able to play our part in ensuring these fantastic disruptive technologies are taken up and uh, the opportunities are captured by uh, users right across the marine field in business and government in what is a truly fantastic opportunity uh, for the marine economy over the future uh, decades that is offered um, by the way in which we can use these transformative and disruptive technology. So thank you and welcome once more.